Many have turned out to be hoaxes, others more serious as threats on social media. We're talking about the wave of creepy clown sightings across the United States. Going back to late August, there have been dozens of reports of threatening clowns, largely centered around schools and colleges. Many have been dismissed by law enforcement as pranks, but more than a dozen people have been arrested in connection with the sightings. Don Daler is here with more on this troubling trend. Don, good morning. Good morning. Well, whether they are pranks, threats, or actual sightings, police and other officials have to take them seriously as a potential threat to safety. And that's starting to drain resources from law enforcement agencies who are also concerned about feeding into hysteria. There are concerns tonight that these creepy clowns and threats online will continue to grow. A woman claims she was attacked by a man in a clown suit just this morning. It seems as if a new report of a threatening clown pops up by the hour. Police have their hands full with these possible sightings. The clown reportedly appeared inside these woods. This week, a 14-year-old in California was arrested when he threatened a middle and high school on an Instagram page called Fontana's Killer Clowns. We've heard that people are going to show up on campus, but we haven't seen anything. Police say the teen wanted to scare people and gain social media followers. Police in Connecticut dealt with a similar social media threat targeting several schools in the New Haven area. While they dismissed it as a hoax, they're still taking it seriously. At this time, we are considering this to be nothing more than a prank and harassment fueled by social media and upcoming Halloween. Working with the police department and our own security team, um, we have no evidence that there is a credible threat to students or schools uh, in the district. The description is going to be a blue hat, blue curly hair, polka dotted rainbow colored outfit. It appears to have been much more than a scare near San Francisco. Francisco on Wednesday. A mother says she fought off a person dressed as a clown who grabbed her one-year-old daughter. I thought he was going to kiss her hand. Instead, he pulled her arm, literally. So I pulled her arm back and I kicked him. Right there at that tree back there. The phenomenon started in late August when children in South Carolina reported seeing a clown beckoning them into the woods. But those sightings were never confirmed. The clown scare was even brought up at a White House press briefing this week. So I'm wondering if the president's aware of this phenomenon and the White House wants to say anything to discourage these types of pranks. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know that the president has been briefed on this particular situation. Some are so upset by the perceived threats, they're ready to take the law into their own hands. Hundreds of students at Penn State University launched a late night manhunt after a clown was reportedly seen on campus. It's that type of behavior that's put some professional clowns on edge. I've been flipped off, I've been mooned, I've had trash thrown at my car, um, I've been um, experienced excessive profanity while performing. So why are so many people playing into the panic? Hoaxes and attempts to frighten people and people buying into it have happened throughout history. But we're ripe for this right now because of social media, which allows a fear to propagate globally very quickly. And because right now we are a country very anxious about otherness. In addition to the suspects accused of making online threats, some of those who have been arrested are charged with making false reports, making this whole situation even more frustrating for police officers all over the country. You think about the resources. We heard yeah. the 911 call in there. Yeah. If it's not resources that are needed, they're being wasted. It's true, but I tell you, I have two kids in middle school and they are scared to death. There was a high school in New Jersey just last week that went on lockdown yeah. because a clown was reported on, on the campus. There. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's the, the wasted resources of police. It's so disappointing. Yeah. All right. Don, thank you very much. Don Daler reporting.